So here is another question on graphical analysis of one dimensional motion. So it is given that the velocity time graph of an object moving along a straight line it is shown in the figure below here this and we have to find the total distance covered by the object from 0 to 10 seconds and the net displacement in the same interval from 0 to 10 seconds okay so first let us mark the different points on this graph starting from the origin O let's say this is O this is let's say A this is B this is C this is D this E F G and let's say this point here is H it will come into play okay so we know that if we have the velocity here and here is the time from the velocity time graph where they have the velocity in the y axis time in the x axis okay here velocity this is in the y axis time is in the x axis time in seconds velocity in meter per second the area under the velocity time graph it gives us the distance or displacement the same thing in straight line motion so here the total distance okay total distance that is equal to the area of triangle OAB this one plus area of triangle BCD this one plus area of rectangle DEFG this is the total distance okay so that will be equal to area of triangle OAB one half into base that is OB into height which is AH plus one half base BD into CD base into height for triangle BCD plus DE into GD okay for rectangle DEFG that is equal to one half OB which is 6 AH which is equal to 20 plus one half BD which is equal to 2 BD is equal to 2 8 minus 6 GD that is equal to how much sorry CD okay not GD CD this one CD magnitude is 0 to 20 so one half into 2 into 20 plus DE into GD DE is 10 GD is also uh, GD is 10 minus 8 2 10 into 2 GD is 2 2 seconds so this is total it is coming 60 plus 20 80 plus 20 100 60 plus 20 plus 20 which is equal to 100 meters that is the distance okay the total distance covered from 0 to 10 seconds now if we want to calculate the displacement it follows the same procedure okay it follows the same procedure but one basic difference which is this portion okay the triangle B C D which is in the negative velocity region it has negative velocity so that's why here this will get subtracted okay 
this will get subtracted negative velocity means suppose an object is moving in this direction negative velocity means it traveled in the opposite direction it returned back okay so here let's say it reached from here to here it traveled x kilometers and then it traveled y kilometers in the opposite direction then the total distance will be x plus y but displacement will be this much okay x minus y okay this will be the displacement this will be the distance negative velocity means the object traveled in the opposite direction in, you know to the original direction it traveled in the opposite direction so this area of bcd it will get subtracted okay it will get subtracted to determine the displacement so here it will be for displacement it will be area of triangle oab minus area of triangle bcd plus area of rectangle d e f g so this is basically 60 minus 20 plus 20 that is equal to 60 meters that is the displacement and why because this portion the triangle bcd portion it has negative velocity negative velocity means the object traveled some distance in the opposite direction which caused a reduction in the displacement between the initial and final positions displacement it will be subtracted this portion bcd but for calculating distance it will be taken as it is okay okay this is the basic you know interpretation of velocity time graph to determine the various parameters okay so here is another question on graphical analysis of one dimensional motion so it is given that as soon as a car just starts from rest in a certain direction a scooter moving with uniform speed overtakes the car their velocity time graphs are shown below here this one where this is the scooter okay velocity in the y axis and time in seconds in the x axis it is in meters per second this is the scooter straight line parallel to the time axis and this is the car initially with a slope and then with constant velocity or speed from this we have to calculate the difference in the distances traveled by the car and the scooter in 15 seconds the time when the car will catch up with the scooter the distance of car and scooter from the starting point to the catching point okay so let us do that first we need to copy this graph here okay so let us mark the different points so that it becomes easy for us to analyze it okay this is the starting point o then let's say this point b a this point be b this point be c d then uh, this point be e okay f g you can we can mark it as per your choice okay now up to 15 seconds that is up to this point up to this point we have to determine the distance covered by the car and the scooter now we know that distance or displacement of an object is the area under the velocity time graph so uh, distance 
covered by the car up until 15 seconds is the area of the triangle O A C which is one half base which is equal to OC into height which is equal to AC which is one half into 15 into 45 15 into 45 so that is equal to it is coming 15 into 45 337.5 meters now the distance covered by the scooter in 15 seconds is the area of the rectangle OEFC OEFC area of rectangle OEFC that is equal to OE into OC OE into OC Okay, so that is equal to OE into OC. Now, that is equal to how much? That is equal to 15 into 30. Okay, 15 into 30, that is equal to 450 meters. So, the distance traveled by the scooter until 15 seconds is equal to 450 meters okay this now this is the first bit then it has been asked the time when the car will catch up with the scooter okay so here we'll take this 15 second point at t equals to 15 seconds the difference in the position or the distance covered by the car and the scooter is the S difference that is equal to 450 meters minus 1 uh, sorry 337.5 meters that is equal to 112.5 meters okay this the difference in the distance traveled by the car and the scooter at t equals to 15 seconds for the first bit then the velocity difference between them the velocity difference between them that is equal to how much the velocity of the car so the velocity of the car at t equals to 15 seconds is equal to 45 meter per second and the velocity of the scooter at equals to 15 second is equal to 30 meter per second okay here 45 and 30 so the velocity difference which is equal to the relative velocity difference between the two that is equal to 45 minus 30 meter per second which is equal to 15 meters per second so from t equals to 15 seconds onwards from this point how much time extra it will take for the car to catch up with the scooter that is equal to the displacement or distance difference divided by the relative velocity and that is equal to it is coming around 7.5 seconds 7.5 seconds after 15 seconds which is exactly at 22.5 seconds okay 22.5 midpoint somewhere around here 22.5 at this point they will catch up so let this point be G H and this be I Okay, this is the 
second part the time when they will catch up that is equal to 22.5 seconds 7.5 seconds after 15 seconds then the difference of car the, the, the sorry the distance of car and scooter from the starting point to the catching point that is at 22.5 seconds how much distance both the scooter and the car they have traveled so it can be done in two ways first by calculating the distance covered by the scooter which is the area of rectangle e let's name it h i j this one this point e focus e j i o area of rectangle e j i o so that is equal to o i into o e that is equal to o i is equal to 22.5 which is the time and o e is equal to 30 which is equal to how much 675 meters which is the distance covered by the scooter or we can calculate the distance covered by the car from starting point to catching point which is the area of rectangle OAC sorry area of triangle OAC plus area of rectangle how much A H I C A H I C which is one half into base into height 15 into 45 for the area of triangle OAC OC into CA OC is 15 CA is equal to 45 plus area of rectangle AHIC which is equal to how much uh, 15 and 24 that is 7.5 into 45 okay two adjacent size CI into IH CI is equal to 22.5 minus 15 that is 7.5 and HI is equal to 45 so that is coming around this is 337.5 and this is coming again 337.5 and both is equal to 675 meters so either way the same result 675 meter whether you calculate the distance of the scooter or the car from starting point to the catching point catch up point that is 22.5 okay so this is the thing